Namaskaram. In this lecture, we are going to learn basics of ratios. Say two terms are two quantities. A and B is given. Then the ratio is written as A ratio B. This is the symbol of ratio. Okay. And uh, A ratio B is read as A is to B or A to B. First term. Okay. A is called as antecedent. Second term. B is called as consequent. These two names are important. Tomorrow UPSC may ask, what is the consequent of this ratio? So please remember these two names. Consequent comes later, my friends. Consequence, consequent. So consequent is the second term. So a ratio is basically antecedent is to consequent. Say so you have three terms or three quantities A, B, C. And the ratio A is to B is to C. In this case, you don't use these terms antecedent and consequent. These two are used only when two terms are two quantities given. Here we don't use those words. We simply call them first term, second term, third term. Or first quantity, second quantity, third quantity. So we have a ratio A is to B. How do we express this in terms of mathematical operations? We have four operations in mathematics. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Every other operation boils down to these four operations in mathematics. So what does this ratio symbol represent among these four operations? It is division my friends. Okay. A divided by B. You can write it as A by B. So you have 2 ratio 3. Okay. That means 2 by 3. From now onwards, I am not going to write like this. Simply. 2 ratio 3 means 2 by 3. Okay, 4 ratio 5 means 4 by 5. See, to write like this, you need to have 2 is to 3. And to write like this, you need to have 2 by 3. Why so are some, my friends? See, you have 1 by 2, you can write it as 1 is to 2. See, you have 3 by 4, you can write it as 3 is to 4. See, you have 3 is to 8, you can write it as 3 by 8. To write like this, you need to have like this. To write like this, you need to have like this. If you get 1 by 2, then you can write it as 1 is to 2. If you get 3 by 4, you can write it as 3 is to 4. Say you have three terms A, B, C in the ratio A is to B is to C. In that case, you cannot write them like A divided by B divided by C. This is absurd. Okay. You cannot write them like this. Let me explain this to you with an example. Say you have a is to b is to c as 2 is to 3 is to 4. From this you can say a and b are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. b and c are in the ratio of 3 is to 4. Okay. a, b, b, c. You can say like this only. Not like this. From here you can write a by b as 2 by 3. b by c as 3 by 4. I am multiplying both. So, A by B into B by C. Okay. This is 2 by 3 into 3 by 4. B, B gets cancelled. 3, 3 gets cancelled. This is 2 by 4. So, A by C. A by C is 2 by 4. I can write A is to C as 2 is to 4. You can write a is to c as 2 is to 4 directly from this equation. You no need to do all this. On what basis you can write directly? I will show you in the next slide. If a is to b is equal to 2 is to 3, then it simply means a is in the form of 2x a is equal to 2x. Okay, b is in the form of 3x b is equal to 3x. See, from this we can write a by b as 2 by 3, no? So from this, let's write a by b, 2x by 3x. x in the numerator, x in the denominator gets cancelled. That is 2 by 3. So a by b is 2 by 3. We got this. See, when a is to b is 2 is to 3, it doesn't mean a is equal to b is equal to 3. It doesn't mean this. You can take a is equal to b is equal to 3 in certain cases. I will show you where to take, where not to take. In solved examples, this is the proper definition of ratio. Okay, A is in the form of 2x, B is in the form of 3x. It's not like A is in the form of 2x, B is in the form of 3y. If you do the division, 
the ratio is 2x is to 3y but we want 2 is to 3 the variable x and y they should not be different the variable in every term should be same it should be x only then only x in numerator x in denominator gets cancels out you will get 2 is to 3 like this so when a is to b is 2 is to 3 you can write you can say a is in the form of 2x b is in the form of 3x this is the definition this is the only definition of ratios the variable in each term should be same it can be either x or y or l or m whatever may be it should be same say a is to b is to c is 2 is to 3 is to 4 you can write a is in the form of 2x b is in the form of 3x c is in the form of 4x okay now a by c that is 2x by 4x that is 2 by 4 in previous slide what we did to get a by c a by b into b by c you no need to do like this simply you can write like this because x is same in every term it gets cancelled out so a by c is 2 by 4 so from this equation you can simply you can directly say a is to c is a 2 is to 4 so you have two ratios a is to b is equal to 3 is to 4 b is to c is equal to 5 is to 7 from this you can say a is in the form of 3x b is in the form of 4x from this you can say b is in the form of 5y c is in the form of 7y two ratios these two are different that's why different variables for one ratio there would be one variable my friends okay another ratio another variable now in this scenario b should be equal okay b is equal 4x here b is equal 5y here 4x is equal 5y you can write y as 4x by 5 okay when you bring 5 this side it goes in denominator 4x by 5 so if you want to write a is to b is to c okay it is 3x is to 4x is to c is 7y no y you substitute in terms of x so 7y no let's write in terms of x y is 4x by 5 this is 7 4s are 28x by 5 so this is a 3x is to 4x is to 28x by 5 now x in each term gets cancelled okay 3 is to 4 is to 28 by 5 we don't want to have this fraction 5 okay in the denominator we want to have just 1 only not 5 so i am multiplying with 5 okay 5 into 3 is to 5 into 4 is to 5 into 28 by 5 okay so 5 5 gets cancelled this will be 15 is to 20 is to 28 so this is the value of a is to b is to c clear all i wanted to tell you here is write y in terms of x and substitute here to get this value there is a shortcut way also we'll teach you in the solved examples okay but this is the concept so you have another ratio okay c is to d as a 8 is to 11 you can write c as 8z d as 11z now write y in terms of z and then write z in terms of x because y in terms of x you got no so z in terms of x you can write now x we have y in terms of x we have z in terms of x we have x will be cancelled out everywhere we'll see this in solved examples you no need to worry all i wanted to tell you is 4x is 5y here 4x is equal 5y 7y is equal to 8z say you have ratios 1 is to 2 2 is to 4 3 is to 6 4 is to 8 you can write this as 1 by 2 2 by 4 3 by 6 4 by 8 this is essentially okay 2 2 gets cancels 1 by 2 4 you can write it as 2 into 2 no 2 you can write it as 2 into 1 3 you can write it as 3 into 1 6 3 into 2 3 3 gets cancels 1 by 2 4 as 4 into 1 8 as 4 into 2 4 4 gets cancels 1 by 2 so all of them are equal they may look different essentially they are same when two or more ratios are same we call them as 
इक्वीवलेंट रेशियोस इक्वीवलेंट रेशियोस माय फ्रेंड्स ओके एल ई एन टी इक्वीवलेंट रेशियोस नाउ हाउ डू यू गेट टू इज टू फोर फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव वन इज टू टू नो आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ टू ऑन बोथ साइड्स ओके सो यू गॉट टू इज टू फोर दिस रेशियो आई मल्टीप्लाइड विथ टू ऑन बोथ साइड्स आई कैन डू दैट वैल्यू इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज बिकॉज टू इंटू वन बाई टू इंटू टू 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 गेट्स कैंसिल्स मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ सेम नंबर इन न्यूमरेटर इन डिनोमिनेटर इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज द वैल्यू ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस वी गॉट टू इज टू फोर हाउ वी कैन गेट थ्री इज टू सिक्स वी मल्टीप्लाई विथ थ्री ऑन बोथ साइड्स ओके वी गॉट थ्री इज टू सिक्स हाउ वी कैन गेट फोर इज टू एट वी मल्टीप्लाई विथ फोर ऑन बोथ साइड्स ओके फोर इंटू वन इज टू फोर इंटू टू फोर इज टू एट so what we are doing here we are essentially scaling up okay scaling up this ratio scaling up means multiplying with something increasing these values scaling up up so by scaling up the ratio value doesn't change so you call this operation as scaling up scaling up operation okay you are scaling up the ratio 1 is to 2 by scaling up value is not going to change in question you may have a is to be as 1 is to 2 in options you may have 4 is to 8 essentially both are same so you have a ratio 4 is to 8 you can scale it down scaling down okay by dividing with same value on both sides okay so this is 2 is to 4 to ones are to twos are okay to ones are to fours are so it's essentially 2 by 1 is to 4 by 1 1 you can ignore okay 2 is to 4 So four is to eight is same as two is to four, which is again same as okay. You divide it with two on both sides. One is to two. So by scaling down, by scaling down, the value remains same. It is essentially one is to two. Okay. In question, you may have a is to b as four is to eight. In options, you may have it as two is to four or one is to two. Both are same. So by scaling up or down okay value of ratio is not going to change when you scale up you multiply the ratio with same number on both sides when you scale down you divide the ratio with same number on both sides okay since you are multiplying or dividing with same number on both sides value is not going to change now simple basic operations of mathematics say you have a plus b is equal to c plus d when you bring c this side it becomes negative and when you bring b that side right side it becomes negative okay so both are same you bring d this side it becomes a minus d is equal to c minus b so essentially when you take one term other side in this scenario it becomes negative when you take a this side right side it becomes minus c when you take b this side it becomes minus b when you take c this side it becomes minus c when you take d this side it becomes minus d so you have ad is equal to bc when b goes this side it goes in denominator a by b is equal to c by d similarly with d when d goes that side it goes in denominator okay a by b is equal to c by d you can also write this as a by c when c goes this side it goes in denominator a by c is equal to b by d when d goes this side okay it goes in denominator now pay attention to this if you have like this you can write it as a into d is equal to c into b when d goes this side it goes in numerator okay it is in division here it becomes multiplication when it goes this side same with b it is in denominator it goes to numerator that side c into b or division here it becomes multiplication it goes in multiplication okay right side same here a into d is equal to b into c d becomes numerator or multiplication c becomes numerator or multiplication okay so you have a by b whole by whole by c by d then you can write it as a by b into d by c this ratio will become reverse okay so a by b into d by c this is ad by bc so you have a by a whole by c by d you can write it as a by 1 
whole by c by d. I am converting this in terms of this. Now this is a by 1, d by c. You can write 2 as 2 by 1 my friends. 3 as 3 by 1, 4 as 4 by 1. You have a no, you can write a as a by 1. It doesn't make any difference. Okay, then whole by, we are not changing this by c by d. So c by d becomes reverse d by c. So this is a d by c. Now you have a by b whole by c. You can write c as a by b. Okay, c as c by 1. Always in this form. Now a by b whole by 1 by c. This is a into 1. a b into c b c. Just remember this. Every other thing is derived from this. So we know ratio means division. Okay. We'll replace with this divided symbol. Percentage. What does it mean? Percentage means percent my friends. Okay. Percent. Okay. Percent. Per means division. Cent means century. Centum. 100. Okay. When you have this, you can replace it with 1 by 100. Numerator 1, you can have. It doesn't change the value. So, you have a percent, which is a into 1 by 100. You can simply write it as a by 100. b percent, b into 1 by 100, that is simply b by 100. You can directly write like this. Now, what is off? OF off means in mathematics. See, half, half 100. Okay, half of 100. You will say this is 50. But how do we got that? It is essentially means half into 100. To 1s are, to 50s are, 1 into 50, 50. So you replace this half, way of half with multiplication. Say, 2 third, 2 third of 75. How do you write this? You write this as 2 by 3 into 75. 3 ones are, 3 25 are, 2 into 25 that is a 50, 50 by 1, 50. So ratio symbol means division, percentage symbol means 1 by 100. You replace percentage symbol with 1 by 100, A percent means 1, A by 100, B percent means B by 100. Of you replace it with multiplication, half of 100, okay, 1 by 2 into 100 that is a 50, 2 by 3rd of 75. 2 by 3 into 75. So with this basics of ratios is over. In the next video, we will learn how to solve the problems. What are the mantras to use, employ to solve the problems based on basics of ratios that will be helpful for you for last minute revision. You don't need to go through all these concepts. You have learned them. Last minute revision. It should be very short, crisp. So in that video, I am going to teach you what are the mantras you should use to solve the problems based on basics of ratios and then we will solve the, we will go through the solved examples based on basics of ratios.